Hello everyone, Mr. Lipchick here, and our discussion today uh, concerns issues about the Electoral College. Many people feel that uh, it is an outdated institution, and many problems have arisen from this institution historically. Okay, problems within the Electoral College. Uh, the winner-take-all system makes it possible for someone who loses the popular vote to win the electoral vote. For instance, for instance, in the 2000 presidential election, Al Gore won the popular vote, but lost the electoral vote to George W. Bush by losing the state of Florida by 537 votes. George Bush got into office, although Al Gore had 500,000 more popular votes. And this has happened four times in our history and can have serious consequences. In 1876, Rutherford B. Hayes, a Republican, received more electoral votes than Samuel Tilden, a Democrat, who got the popular vote. It is believed that some of Tilden's electors switched their votes. A special commission, dominated by Republicans, decided the election. The corrupt bargain was negotiated uh, between the two parties. Hayes would become president, and in return he would withdraw his U.S. troops from the South ending Reconstruction. Uh, at the time, most of the Southerners were Democrats, and they wanted to go back to their policies of uh, mistreating African Americans, and withdrawing the troops permitted this to happen. So, uh, they, um, when Reconstruction ended, African, African Americans were denied their civil rights, uh, including voting for the next century. Third party candidates can potentially prevent either a majority party candidate from receiving a majority of votes. Uh, this could send the election to the House of Representatives. The third party candidate would then hold the balance of power in the entire election. Uh, and, th and this person could instruct their electors to vote either for the candidate for either candidates based on basically decide the election. Okay, this candidate. And that is something that um, we seek to avoid. To the right, you see Teddy Roosevelt, who ran in the election of 1812 as the Progressive or Bull Moose Party. And it's believed that the Republicans would have won against President Wilson, the Democrat, but Roosevelt won enough Republican votes to allow Wilson to win. So he basically was what they call a spoiler. If the election goes to the House of Representatives, certain potential problems can occur. One, states with small populations would have the same voting power as those with large populations, one vote per state. And two, if representatives from a state cannot agree on a candidate to vote, uh, to vote for, that state loses its votes. Or its vote, rather. And three, a third party candidate could make it difficult for either majority party candidate to get a majority vote in the House. Suggestions for reform? Pro uh, because of problems with the Electoral College, many proposals have been put forth. Choose electors from congressional districts and award the two senatorial electoral votes to the party who wins the majority of them. That has been one proposal. Award the same percentage of electoral votes <clears throat> to a candidate as they won in the popular election within a state. And this would resolve the winner-take-all problem, but could complicate elections with third-party candidates receiving electoral votes. And it could force the election into the House of Representatives. Direct popular elections have been suggested. This would avoid the problem of candidates winning the popular vote and losing the electoral vote. Some feel, however, that this would undermine the federal system. The current electoral system causes presidential candidates to focus on certain key states in order to win their electoral votes. States would lose their role in deciding the election of the president of this a direct vote occurred. 
and candidates might only concentrate their efforts on highly populated areas, ignore, ignoring concerns of the states. That concludes our discussion on the issues with the Electoral College system. Thank you for viewing, and I look forward to seeing you in the live lesson. Have a great day.